Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here on yet another beautiful, glorious Wednesday morning. And I couldn't be happier because, again, this is the first time I've come up here where it didn't rain at all. And it's been sunny and gorgeous. That just makes this horrible, long, boring drive that much better. And that's pretty much all I'm doing today because I have my meeting at 9 and it's only 8.30 right now and they're only like 10 minutes away. I'll go to breakfast, I'll be on the road, and then all I'm doing is driving the whole way back to Virginia Beach. That's my plan for the day. Sit in the Forerunner and drive home. And hopefully it'll continue to be this gorgeous out. So that's it. I just sort of wanted to say good morning to everybody. We'll talk when we get back on the road. Oh, fuck. All right, kids. The monkey's having an issue. At one point, well, at a lot of points, I have tried and tried and tried to get this set up in the Forerunner set up correctly so that it's getting most of the interior. So if for some reason my wife is here, I can get her in the shot a little bit when she lets me. But, you know, more importantly, if I try to center it on myself, then I'm gonna get the window over here and it's gonna get blown out. So I'm trying to sort of cut the difference. The last and current setup that I have here, I thought I finally had it all taken care of. I don't know what the hell happened though, but it's, it's like frightening. It's like it's not even adhering in the back at all. So the bottom line of all that is that I need to do another setup. And I think instead of just trying to like jury rig and Frankenstein a couple of things together, I need to go full on hardcore engineer built setup to get this damn thing done once and for all. I'm pretty disappointed that, and, and I honestly don't know what happened or why it, it's so loose. So I, I don't know. I, obviously I can't do anything about it when I'm driving. I'm gonna have to do it when I get home. But even then I can't do it today because in order to get this done, I have to have the proper tools and I don't. If I had, I mean, I know I have a vise, but I don't have anything to attach the vise to that's sturdy enough because you can't attach it to like, you know, like a, a kitchen table or, or something like that. I need a hardcore like garage tool holding, well-built, surface that is made to take a vice that will at least give me the ability to bench shed to try to get it the way that i need to get it the bottom line is, is that i need to get some kind of tool cabinet surface whatever the hell i don't even know what you call them uh i don't even give a shit if it holds tools i just want to like a table a sturdy table that i can hook a vice up to that i can hammer on that i can and bench shit on and, you know and i'm not going to snap it because it's not shitty little particle board that you get from Walmart or something like that. So I'm gonna probably head to Harbor Freight Tools or Home Depot or something like that, see what I can find on sale and just commit to getting something. Then I can mount my vice to it. I'm almost tempted. Well, I'm not almost tempted. I. I'm gonna at some point, but I wanna get like a drill press so that I can start drilling holes instead of trying to hand hold a freaking hand drill and, and drill straight and all that kind of shit. I already got the tap and die kit, so I, I know I can put threads on shit, which will really help, but I need, to, I need to have the proper stuff. So that means over the next several days, I'm gonna head to those places. I'm gonna look for something, see if I can't find the proper base tool table whatever and maybe some other stuff and i'm not going to go out and spend all this money just because i want to put a freaking mount here for my camera in the forerunner there's a lot of shit that i want to do in my house and just in general that i can't do because i just don't have the proper tools and now is the time for me to do it so that's what i'm going to do the long way of the monkey saying, I need to fix this damn mount because it's gonna fall over and that scares me. That That's gonna be the adventure for the next several days. The nice thing will be that I'll have this weekend to play around with that. And more importantly, is that I've got a four day weekend next weekend, in which case I'll be able to do, you know, I'll have all the time in the world, theoretically, to do what I need to do and get to it. All right, that's enough for now. Okay, kids, I thought I'd give you a special treat. 
and I pulled over into the scenic outlook thingy here before I hit the Chesapeake Bay Tunnel Bridge system that I'm going to be on for the next several miles. So this is a little area that you can go to and you can film shit or just look out and wonder. So now I'm going to turn around so you can see, well, you probably can't see it, but the bridge system is over there. But there's the ocean. It's on the other side of the highway too, but this is the side that I can get to that has the scenic overlook. And there you go. Now I'm gonna stick this sucker in 35 so you can kind of get an idea. So yeah, I mean, the thing that I thought was pretty cool is there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, like big tanker sized ships way out there. It was just as many when I came yesterday and I don't know if they're just moored out there, if they're stuck out there, or if there's just always shit waiting out there. I mean, there's, there's a lot of ships out there and it's pretty cool. And you can see all a bunch of little tiny ships way out there on the horizon. But right over there, that's the first bridge system, which freaked me out the first time I went over it. And I did it at night when the sun was setting and it looked like you were driving up into the sun and that there was a drop off. It kind of freaked me out. So yeah, pretty neat. It's a gorgeous day out. Not quite maybe 70 degrees, but pretty cool nonetheless. All right, I have to pee. All right, kids, I'm home. Everything is unpacked and put away because I do that first when I get home so that I don't forget about shit. Plus I have to use all my equipment and it's all packed away. So that's all done. I've already eaten dinner. I've been doing day job email crap and just in general, not being in the forerunner after a long couple of days. So I'm pretty much done with filming. I got the battery, the V mount battery and I plugged it in and it's working just fine with the exception of that damn spot that you put an adapter in. I couldn't get it to, to actually power the Ninja. So I figured, all right, if it isn't gonna power the Ninja, it's not gonna power the camera either. So I ended up putting the adapter into the actual battery because there's a, there's a port for that and immediately everything came on. So I am indeed powering the Ninja and the camera through the V-mount battery and the V-mount battery is plugged into the plate, which also has the power unit for the lights on. So that's running the lights as well. So everything is basically being ran except for the microphone, but that has a, a little battery in it. And like I keep saying over and over again, it's the first battery that I put in there when I got it. It's been a long ass time since I got that thing and it's still going. And every time you turn it on, it shows up, well, when you plug it into the camera and you turn it on, then the light comes on and it's been green since I turned it on first, almost a year ago, if not a year ago. So it may never run out of battery. It's eternal. I haven't even bothered to check the weather, but it is gorgeous out. So what I might do, if I don't finish what I want to get finished tonight, I might get up, have breakfast, do what I need to do for like an hour, which would probably take me an hour to do, get that done. And then I'm going out into the woods because I haven't been out for a long time and I'm pent up because I've just been sitting the entire past two days. I need to walk off all this pent up energy. Plus I need to move and stretch and I didn't really stretch at all after going to the chiropractor. So wham. All right. So that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember kids, forward and up.